Uh, the first question that I received was, um, oh, man, I forgot. Okay, hold on. Oh, no. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for hanging out today. Fitness too. The oven is ready. So I'm just actually like tossing on my makeup really quick. By the way, it is short weather right now. So I have my shorts on. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick mukbang. Super gorgeous day. It's just getting started. And if you guys don't know, I'm Lexi. <laughs> hey guys, I am Lexi. I am back with to do another Q and A for you guys. Um, let's see what is happening. What is going on? All right. So the first Q and A, uh, the first question that I received was, um, oh, man, I forgot. It. Okay, hold on. Oh, no. Um, it, one of the questions was, what is a typical author day look like for me? Um, a typical author day um, in the morning, I will answer emails, I'll touch base with readers. Um, in the morning, outside of doing emails, I always do my post on Instagram, and I also touch base with my readers in the morning and at, in the afternoon in the reader group. Um, and then I will um, knock out a workout and stuff like that possibly, or I'll do my workout at night. Um, I have three main things that I will pretty much tackle in a day, and then if there's anything time for other stuff, I will do that. So that is what a day looks like for me. All right, guys, so that was that question. The next question that I received, um, someone asked me, oh my God, I don't know how I'm doing this. I try to do it, okay, so whenever I do a list, it seems a little robotic to me, so I try to do it from memory because it feels a little more natural. Um, and I like doing my YouTubes like that because it's a little more me. So bear with me as I try to stall and remember this next question. Um, hmm, let's see. Um, oh, what's my go-to snack? Um, another thing is coffee or tea. So my go-to snack um, when I'm writing um, is probably like something crunchy, peanuts, um, apples, something like that, um, or something chocolate. Oh, something chocolate. Um, the other thing that I would say for my drink, tea or coffee, I'm always going to be a tea person. Um, I am tea all day, um, all day long. I even have some tea right here. <laughs> okay, so that's what I like to have nearby. Um, what is some of the music that I listen to? I got that one too. Um, one of the um, uh, types of music that I listen to when I'm writing, I try to do things without lyrics, so like spa, zen, um, X culture, Govinda, stuff like that. Um, but when I'm not listening to that, I, I do not know what it is, but um, what is it? Um, LFO, uh, every other time, I will listen to that one. I have no idea why that is like a good writer jam for me, but I have listened to that song like a lot of times, and so I don't even hear the lyrics anymore. I kind of can sing it as I'm typing, and it doesn't distract me. Um, or songs that I've heard a lot, I'll listen to that. Okay. And then, of course, you know, the ones that I put on Instagram at the top, I will listen to those too to get inspired. But a lot of times when I'm actually writing, it's either quiet or I'm listening to something without lyrics. Okay. All right, two more questions that I have for you guys. Um, one question that I got um, was basically, what's one of my favorite movies? I actually have two movies that I absolutely love. I love Dirty Dancing and I love Pretty Woman. Those are my all-time favorite, 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 favorite movies. I love those movies. Um, and third is definitely gonna be Matrix. <laughs> I love that movie. I love that whole series, but I love that movie. So, there it is. You guys all know that I have a cookbook, so one of the questions was, um, how do you come up with your recipes and how did you start cooking? It was kind of like a two part, so I will answer both parts. Um, how did I start cooking? Um, the way that I started cooking was basically um, just going for it. <laughs> I had a lot of bad food. <laughs> It was not good, um, but um, I just went for it and I started learning it and that's kind of how I still have developed new uh, new um, recipe because I go for it because I go, um, this kind of sounds good and I know that you know pairing it 
um, this might be a good idea. So that's how I create my recipes too. Um, or I will recreate something that Chloe has, or I will go off a of taste uh, if I've just had the recipe out in public somewhere, like let's say it's like teriyaki or something like that, I'll say, okay, so that has like a sweet vibe, a garlicky vibe, yet it has something else in there. What's that base flavor or something like that? So that's how I come up with my recipes. All right, guys. Um, there we go. Oh, and I had a lot of creative cooking when I was in college um, because I uh, <laughs> had to cook on a budget. And so, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> there are many ways that you can make chicken. We'll just say that. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is my questions for today. I hope that you enjoyed this short, quick Q&A. I'll be back to do more of these questions soon. Thanks so much.